Cooking with Carla. This is what you get. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today. We are going into Aldi and Walmart. We're going to pick up a few things, try to find what's new in those stores. I have been out and about running errands all day and I even wore a sweatshirt. This one's so comfy. It's from Target. So I forgot my mask and I forgot my list, which I really need. My list is for Aldi. So I came back home to get those things, but I'm going to go ahead and cook dinner while I'm here, but stay tuned because I am going to be showing you my meal plan in this video. And then I'm also going to be cooking those donut sticks that so many of you asked about last week from Aldi. I have still not tried them. We have not made them. So we're going to make them together today on this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end. That's when I'll be cooking those. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I am back. I do want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I am about to make something super yummy and super easy. I have three recipes to choose from. I kind of already have in mind what I want to do but I'm gonna show you the ones I have to choose from so you can kind of get an idea of some of the stuff they have, but it's going to be so delicious. So these are my choices this week. So I don't know, I'm thinking more on this side because I feel like Alex will enjoy this the most. He's not a huge pasta person, but I am. I don't know, I might save this for the weekend and then I'll probably, Cook this. This looks so easy and the prep time is only 10 minutes. Cook time is only 45 minutes. So they send you a bag and it pretty much has everything you need in it and everything is kept insulated on the way here. So this is everything I need for the recipe and then make sure you stay tuned for a couple more minutes because I'm actually going to have a really, really good coupon code for you. So as you can see, it's going to tell you over there on the left hand side, everything you need to bust out of your cupboards and all that good stuff. And then it gives you all of the easy directions on how to make it. So one of the best things about HelloFresh is it's super easy and convenient. They send the pre-portioned recipes directly to your door. All you have to do is cook and enjoy. My HelloFresh order fell on the perfect week with school being out and the power being out. Things have just been crazy. So I needed something really easy to go to and HelloFresh was definitely the answer. HelloFresh offers so many recipes. There's literally something for everyone. They offer low calorie, vegetarian, all kinds of family friendly recipes every week. So to try out HelloFresh for yourself, you can use my code CARLA80 to get $80 off across five boxes. Additional restrictions may apply, but just visit HelloFresh.com for more details and you will be squared away. I promise you will not be disappointed. This was actually my favorite meal that I've ever made from HelloFresh. So it was really an exciting night for us. All of the information that I have talked about in this video will be linked in my description box down below and as well as my coupon code. So definitely check that out and I hope you really enjoy it. And this was the final product and does that plate not look absolutely beautiful? So I've had a lot of HelloFresh meals and this is by far my favorite ever. I'm not joking. And just in case you need a reminder, this is what it's called, barbecue pork and apple meatloaves with garlic mashed potatoes and roasted green beans. Okay, so I've already been to Aldi and everything like that. I probably had to take this sweater off like twice today already because it goes from hot to cold, hot to cold. But I've got everything at Aldi. Now I'm in the Starbucks line. We're gonna go to Walmart. I have to pick something inside up so I might like show you a few things and then we'll get my order, go home, I'll show you my haul, and then my meal plan, and we'll cook some donut sticks. So stay tuned, and I'll probably show you what coffee I get. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. Maybe something random, we'll see. I'm totally getting the last two of these because they are that good, just saying. So my sister said these were good, and a lot of you said these were good after I showed them in my last video, so I think I'm gonna give these a try. You guys also said these are really, really good. So I'm gonna try these for the girls. They're only $1.49, so I'm gonna give them a try. Let's see if y'all are telling me the truth. Okay, it's kind of loud. They've moved our Aldi Isle of Shame to this part of the store at the very front. So, 
Yeah. They have these motion sensing lights, four in one snap and cleaning kit and storage system. That's really neat for $19.99. They have these stools right here, which is a really good deal for $8.99. Children's little fleece jackets for $9.99. I'm assuming that's the right price for this. If it is, it's a really good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one called Farmhouse Flannel, and it smells like fresh men's cologne or something. I don't know. This one right here smells really good too. This one's called Welcome Autumn. Those are really pretty. They are $9.99. These are pretty nice. I actually just ordered some new like wooden spoons and stuff, so I'll see how the quality is on those beforehand. All of these holiday cards for 99 cent and they're really, really pretty, really good quality. That one's gorgeous. Definitely gonna have to start coming to Aldi for cards. Look at these cute baskets. These are only 7.99 and they are so adorable, hold on. What would I put in this? I feel like I need it, but I don't know what I would put in it. I feel like this is a really good deal. Usually we get the zipper ones, but I mean, for $2.29 and we could just use them for the holidays and stuff. Can't beat that. Have you guys ever tried this squeeze minced garlic? It's interesting. Oh, these look good. This brand is so, so good. So if you've never tried it from Aldi, definitely give it a try. These look really neat. That would be fun for the girls to do on Halloween night or something. They also have this French recipe, bistro style flatbread. This right here looks really good, this apple punch wine. All right, so I am at Walmart. It's kind of dark in here. The lighting's not that great, but I just got my windows tinted, so you know. Look y'all, they finally have the white fudge covered Oreo cookies out that they come out with every year. These are really good. And Alex spotted these limited edition Ritz crackers, which are really neat. They're just like in like a snowflake shape. Check out these pods. They have peppermint bark, and then they have the butter cookie back again this year, which is really good, I might add. They also have the peppermint bark and just the regular ground coffee as well. Ah, oh, look at this. Holiday mega sugar cookie. Yum. They also have these right here, this pretzel dipping kit. Ooh, look at this, candy cane hot cocoa mix. I just got a plain caramel latte from Starbucks, which is something I've never ordered before, and it's actually really good. So, it's a madhouse at my house, so hopefully I can fit these all on the counter with the power and everything going out this week, and the hurricane, and having no internet. I think it's just been crazy around the house because the girls haven't been able to do their schoolwork either. School was canceled for two days. It's just been crazy. So I'm hoping I get home, get these groceries put away, which is like the biggest grocery haul of life, I might add. I must've been like super hungry or something. Also, the girls have no school for another week because next week is a teacher's work day and then it's election day. So I had to be stocked up on the food because y'all know two growing girls and me being at home all day. So plenty of things to cook, plenty of things to snack on. Let's get home and show you what I got. See, it's a good thing that I did cook before we left because I'm in a mood. I wanna get all this stuff put up. My entire dining room table and my entire bar area is covered with groceries. I don't know if I was like hungry or what, but the girls are out of school all next week. So we needed a lot of things. I don't know if I have anywhere to put all this stuff, but we'll see. But first I'm gonna show you my meal plan. Okay, so for the meal plan, starting on the week of November 2nd, which is Monday, we are gonna be having Swedish meatballs, taco casserole for Taco Tuesday, whatever Wednesday. So it's basically just whatever you want, probably leftovers. Breakfast for dinner on Thursday, which is one of my favorite things to have for dinner. Friday is going to be chilly, and then Saturday will be takeout, and then Sunday, who knows what we will have. I'm not really sure. The girls won't have school that next day, so we'll see. But yeah, this is going to be our meal plan for the next week. So I'm going to show you over here first what's on my kitchen table. This is just pretty much everything I couldn't fit on my bar area, and this is in no order. All my groceries are just all over the place. 
So you saw me show these holiday edition gallon size bags in Aldi. I went ahead and grabbed those. Y'all are a bad influence on me just like I am y'all, okay? So we're friends here. I'm a bad influence on you. You're a bad influence on me, so we're even, okay? So I bought these cookies. They better be good. You guys said they were, and so did my sister. Okay, so I got a smoked sausage for a recipe, pepperoni for a recipe. This to throw in my salad this week. Love some diced ham. I also got some smoked ham deli meat. What's with me in this gravy mix? Okay, at least it's not brown gravy, okay? We got some lemon pepper wing seasoning mix. I got two of these. Alex really likes those, and then the girls really like these soft ones, so I grabbed that. Just got this iceberg lettuce, some onion soup mix for a recipe, sour cream. I got this for myself to have for lunch, probably like tomorrow or something like that. Who knows what will happen? It's Saturday, so we may end up going out, but I will have this before 11 too when it expires. We got some fun Fetty frosting. We do have the cake mix, but Ansley said she wanted to bake this week, so I went ahead and got some frosting. I always like to get these biscuits from Aldi because they are only 95 cents. We were almost completely out of Kleenex, and y'all know it's that time of year, so yeah. Got some salsa restaurant style. This is from Walmart, so I hope it's good. We've never tried it. I must have also been half asleep whenever I was ordering groceries because I got this and this. Somebody help me. Then I got these for Aubrey. She loves those. I love the thin tortilla chips. So I can't wait to try it with that. They substituted these big bags because they didn't have the small bags, which I'm kind of glad because the girls love the Alfredo and it's just something easy that Aubrey can make herself. I grabbed this chicken and dumplings and this meatloaf completes meals. Also some single white American cheese and just regular American cheese. These were so good when me and Alex had them for date night. If you remember me talking about these, my Walmart has them now, so I had to get them. Um, these are because of y'all, okay? Y'all all said these were good last week, so I did give them a try. I got the last two that they had here because these are so good. Get them while you can. They came out like four months ago and I could never find them in stock or catch them when they were in stock, so I grabbed two this time. They are as good as they're hopped up to be. I did grab this two pack of farmhouse flannel candles. We'll probably just stick those in the bathrooms. I got these meal prep food storage containers for Alex to take to work. These will probably get us through, you know, the next couple of months. We were needing some new ones. And then also, I just got a random bunch of sparkling water at Aldi because it's only like 48 cent there, so. We like trying all their new flavors. All right, on to this side of the kitchen. So we got some vanilla caramel creamer, some Stoke cold brew coffee, and as you notice, I don't have any milk this week because I don't need any. Also some maple vanilla whipped cream. This is one of those seasonal items at Aldi that I have not been able to find yet. And there was two left, so I took the last two, sorry. Sorry. Also grabbed these from Aldi. I've seen these stuffed jalapenos in there before, but I figured Alex would like them, so I said I'll give them a try. And then I got this for myself. I just love that brand right there. Everything they make is really good. So this is just toasted cheese ravioli. Maybe I can make it an air fryer. I'm not sure. I'll have to look on the back. Got some dinner yeast rolls. Some apple snacks for the girls. Some ground beef. Red raspberries, Ansley was really requesting red raspberries this week. Some bananas, which they're really yellow, which is kind of sad because that means they won't last long. Some green beans, some peppers, more croissants, and don't worry, we have plenty of honey butter left for those. Also got a half gallon of bread, some eggs, green beans, sliced carrots. Ansley hasn't had her hazelnut spread in a while, so grabbed her that, she asked for that. I want to try this new honey mustard. It looked really good. It's probably not new or anything. I just called it new because it's new to me, you know. So hopefully it's good. We were almost out of that. I swear we used so much of that. Got another ranch just to have on hand and then some A1 sauce for a recipe. So these stuffing mixes were like 69 cent in Aldi and I'm kind of sad because I thought I ordered one cornbread, but obviously I didn't. Not ordered. I thought I picked up one cornbread. What am I talking about? 
Okay, and so this was a substitution. I usually get the bottles, as you know, but they gave me these. That was fun. Got some pizza sauce, shredded hash browns, meatballs, egg noodles. Got two of these kind nut butter bars, which I'm really excited about. These are kind of chilled like the perfect bars are, so I'm excited to try those. This was like something I added to the cart on a whim. Don't ask. Also grabbed some chicken and some of Alex's favorite jalapeno cheddar dip, some Fritos, some chicken nuggets, toilet paper, Dawn dish spray, whatever that stuff's called, power wash. It's been out of stock forever. I finally caught it in stock last night. I got another bag of Epsom salt, some Swiffer duster refills, Scooby snacks, Doritos, double stuff Oreos, and this, yeah, just the worst of the worst, okay? The kids are gonna be out of school for a week. And then these right here were actually a substitute. So, this is everything I ended up with. Just guess my total all together, I guess. Y'all, where am I gonna put all this stuff? Help! I also grabbed these randomly from the Walmart pickup website, whatever it's called. I saw these on there and I was like, oh, the kids and Alex love M&Ms and they love like vanilla ice cream. So I was like, this is perfect. Y'all, I'm really sad about this. This says that you need to cook it with cooking oil. Like I hate cooking with cooking oil or frying or anything. That's why I love my air fryer. So we're gonna try to cook these in the oven. Ignore this disgusting pan because it is what it is. But if it doesn't come out good, oh well. You live and you learn, right? So this is what it looks like, but I don't even care. Like I'm going to roll these out like this. You're probably like, what the heck? I could just make regular cinnamon rolls out of them. I don't want to do that. I want to be extra and just see what happens. I despise cooking and cooking oil. That's why I do not have a deep fryer. I do not like using them. It's scary to me. Okay, so this is what they look like whenever I rolled them all up. I did use some non-stick cooking spray to make sure they didn't stick, but I'm gonna take this little pizza cutter and kind of just like roll it to make separate donut stick pieces. It's said to kind of cut them in thirds, so that's what we're doing here. Cooking with Carla, this is what you get. So I cut my little donut sticks apart. This is what it looks like. The oven's on 350. Here is the icing I'm gonna put on afterwards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven and I'm gonna keep an eye on it because it says to deep fry them. So I'll have to keep an eye on it, you know, so I can decide when to take them out. So these are all pretty much cooked. They look about the same on the front as they do the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this icing on them and give them a try. All right, so this is what we're working with as far as the donut sticks go. It's probably not how they're supposed to turn out, but it's what we got. So these donut sticks are so good. Ansley, you wanna try it? Yeah. Okay. They're good. They're really good? It's like Cinnamon yeah, they're very similar to cinnamon rolls, which is what they look like whenever, you know, we originally took them out. But thank you guys so much for watching another Shot With Me grocery haul. Remember, don't forget to guess my grocery total for next week. I will announce that winner on next week's video. We didn't have one from last week because we did the snacks giveaway. And that giveaway runs here on YouTube and Instagram through... November 1st, so I won't be picking a winner until November 1st, but I will say I've had a lot of people say, well, I don't have Instagram. Well, you don't have to have Instagram. All you have to do is comment on my last grocery haul and you're entered into that giveaway, but you can get double or triple entries if you enter over on Instagram too. So I just wanted to kind of explain that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. Go check me out on Instagram. We have a lot of fun over there. 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!